Okay, um, so the, the answer is that for animals within the same species, they would usually feel they can also face pre-psychotic barrier. So what kind of pre-psychotic barrier can they face? Well, one, one way to approach this question is that think about human being. Even though we are the same species, we can we do we can overcome all the uh, uh, post-psychotic barrier, but we still exist a lot of pre-psychotic barriers, such as uh, let's say habitat isolation. If well, well, uh, I live in America. You know, I live in here, in U.S. But if my girlfriend lives in London, let's say, then well, we will have a difficulty to meet with each other. So that is one of the habitat um, isolation. And also, uh, for the there will be no uh, temporal isolation. There will be no. So there will be no temporal isolation for human being because we don't have a mating season. Habitat isolation, I already gave you an example. There can be habitat isolation. Behavior isolation, well, potentially we can have behavioral isolation. For example, um, if people are from two different cultures, they may have different uh, mating ritual or di different uh, so-called mating dance. Um, for example, uh, people from Amazon a uh, native Indian from Amazon rainforest. Maybe their um, uh, uh, behavior ritual to court or courtship uh, maybe is very different from American here. Um, the native Indian in Amazon rainforest, they may have a their their courtship ritual. Maybe is to uh, give a, 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 a gift. Uh, like a animal hunt, hunt an animal or something like that to present a gift to the women. But here, America, they may we may have different uh, mating ritual. Uh, American. Well, we talked about sexual selection last time. Uh, for male to attract female, I told you that oh maybe maybe the guy would drive a fancy sports car to show off that he has a lot of money, or he may uh, show off his uh, six pack, his flexing his muscle to attract the attention of female. So this may be different from uh, other culture. So behavior isolation, uh, it it has a cultural component to it. Well, um, for human being, we theoretically we don't have the mechanical isolation, but size matter. And gametic isolation, we also don't have gametic isolation for human being. And okay, now we go to post-psychotic barrier. Post-psychotic barrier, um, meaning that okay, the we can have interspecies mating occur. That means they overcome all the pre-psychotic barrier, including the uh, 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 including the mechanical isolation and gametic isolation, and they can they also have the hybrid cycle form, meaning that they may they can reproduce the offspring. They have they they can they can reproduce offspring, but they face these three pre uh, post psychotic barriers. The first one is called reduced hybrid viability. So if two different species, they, they are able to overcome all the pre-psychotic barrier, they still, they, their, their offspring may still may be viable, they can live, but their offspring may not be healthy. Meaning that the offspring may die early, or the offspring may they die prematurely, meaning that they, before they reach the reproductive age, they already die. So they cannot reproduce, the offspring cannot reproduce. Or 
even if the offspring can live to adulthood, can theoretically reach the reproductive age, but the offspring is not healthy enough to produce, uh, maybe the offspring is not healthy enough to produce uh, gametes. Maybe the offspring is not healthy enough to um, produce gametes to uh, reproduce. In any way, uh, it reduces the hybrid, the offspring, uh, the, the, the viability, the, the chances of living. Another isolation is this reduced hybrid fertility. This is a very uh, common uh, example. A horse can mate with a donkey, and then they can uh, reproduce. Uh, they can produce a meal, and as we know, that meal is uh, infertile. They cannot uh, reproduce. The third example is called hybrid breakdown. Um, this is a little bit, uh, this is not very common, but um, what happened is that if you, if you, there are three uh, types of crops. Um, the tall one cross with the short one, then you got the medium height. But the thing is that the medium height uh, crops, they may die. They can all die or um, or they, they Hybrid breakdown meaning that um, they're sterile. They're, they're sterile. It's just like the previous case, but they they all die pretty quickly. So um, for speciation, um, we other the other than. Classifying, well, we use the pre-psychotic barrier and post-psychotic barrier to prevent, um, to, to classify as a way to classify species. Uh, evolution also uses uh, these two methods to form new species, allopatric and sympatric. Allopatric, basically you have a geographic barrier uh, that physically separate the same species into two. And then eventually, the two, the, these two, uh, these two group of animal originally, they, originally they are the same species. They will uh, eventually uh, diverge and become two different species. Sympatric speciation is uh, forming new species without geographic uh, isolation. We will talk more about this. Uh, we'll give you an example of how this happened. How can we have a new species without geographic isolation. Allopatric species is simpler because okay, as long as you have um, you have two isolated population, the isolated population is away from the parental ice population. Then, uh, uh, after a long time, uh, they they separate and then they evolve separately. Then. Um, you have two different species. If they by any chance the two population come back and meet, then they will develop, they will have a reproductive barrier to keep them away from, from each other, from meeting each other. An example to this is that um, if you look at the shape of Africa, Western Africa and the Eastern South America, you, you can see that they are actually, they are from, you know, tectonic plate movement. They originally, they are from the same um, continent. And then because of the tectonic movement, then um, South America uh, uh, broke off from, from the Africa. And People compare the species um, from the west coast of Africa and to the east coast of the South America. They see that there are many species. They are originally from the same ancestor. But after so many years of separation, they diverge and become new species. And they, they can no longer meet with each other. So that is the example of this allopatric speciation. So this is 
So after they separate, and then if they don't uh, uh, reconnect, then they become two separate uh, species. For sympatric speciation, um, so one example of sympatric speciation, that means they, um, the, a population, uh, one species, they become two species without geographical isolation, is that they have something called polyploidies, so, which is caused by the accident during cell division. So remember mitosis uh, or meiosis? We have to separate the, uh, uh, the, the chromosome. So they give you some fish and amphibian. It is very common and also in plants. Um, plant, fish, and animal during their cell division, it is very easy for them to make mistakes. In this case, uh, you, you, will, you will make a new species from a polyploid, polyploid, uh, polyploidy. So it gives you an example, um, uh, during the cell division, um, if the splitting of the chromosome is not complete, then you can, originally you have diploid 2n number, you can be tetraploid 4n. You can actually double the amount of chromosome in the offspring. In this case, you will, in this case, you will create a new species. Another example is like this. You have species A, species B. One, this species A, you have a, a, a 2N, the diploid is 4 chromosome. Uh, the species B, the diploid is 6 chromosome. What happens is that when they produce their gametes, then the haploid is 2 chromosome in species A, and then the hap, uh, the and then in species B, the, the gamete is haploid. Haploid is three chromosome. And then after they form the zygote, meaning that if they are able to overcome the pre-zygotic barrier, then they form the zygote. And because they have, because the, the gamete, the, they, the, they have two different types of the uh, chromosome, they, the chromosome cannot pair up. But they can re the only way it can do is to reproduce asexually. When it reproduces asexually, then you form a new species. Uh, the species it has uh, the diploid has a ten chromosome. So this is an example of sympatric uh, speciation due to the um, uh, accident or mistake in cell division. We have many examples that um, uh, polyploids, uh, including all these, or potato, banana, all these are, the, uh, are from the sympatric speciation. But uh, you don't need to memorize the list. Uh, it's just to give you an example that uh, sympatric speciation is more common than we actually than we actually think. We actually have sympatric speciation every day. So discussion, um, you can think about this question before you look at the uh, next video. So uh, with geographic barrier, what does it call? This is a very simple question. And then give an example of sympatric species in Galapagos Island. Uh, remember we talked about Galapagos Island. Uh, it is the island that Charles Darwin um, Collect a lot of a sample uh, for for to form his uh, evolution uh, theory. So um, think about the first one easy. The second one may not be that obvious, but we briefly talk about this in last week's lecture.